And we are underway in round six of the NHRU. And it was Luke Simmons who got us underway and the Greens will get first use of the football. So Sinclair feeds the scrum. The ball will sit at the base. And he's going to scurry through here. Too quick. The Wanderers halfback. He found an opening. And the second place Wanderers open the scoring. Facing up to him, he, he, he looks pretty smart, this fella. Just the power he possesses as Luke Sherwood. Can he dot down under the post? He's gone perilously close and they have yeah, gone over there. Again. It's a pile of bodies for the Wanderers make it 12 points to nil. And now a jink and a step and they're only... See, Ben, they're just that one-off one -off stuff. They've got to get together. Well, it was William Dunn there and here is Jerome Wilson. And they're over here, the and Greens. They have found a way over the stripe. That is exactly what they needed. Surprising as well. Down to 14 men, and they've got over the line. Looking to knock over his first penalty goal of the year. And he does exactly that. In that situation, you've got to play it back down in their half. And now they've given them the opportunity. You can see out wide there. They've got an overlap here. Well, George he Sinclair. He finds yeah. Keo in the Fijian. He's made a habit of scoring this season. There is another one. Getting the ball out the back, Sinclair was monstered by Jerome Wilson. Here's a step and a jink, and straight up the middle of the ground goes Ben Ham. He's up over halfway, and he was on his neck as he released Jeez, the ball he, there. He, he landed awkwardly there, didn't he? he? Did. He's all right. He did land awkwardly. Yeah, he's was, getting up. And I think uh, maybe it was Morell Here we go actually. Again. Here he goes again. Diving through, and the Wanderers, they're over again. Straight after half time, and it is Chase Hicks who goes over in the corner. And they've got room out wide. If they get it wide, plenty. they'll go in here. Plenty of room. Forwards on the wing for the Wanderers. Oh. And Jay Strawn takes full advantage. The Greens legend with a swan dive. And they're right back into this one. Is that a swan dive or an injury dive? Well, he That's did. Bla Blair Rush was trucking it forward there. Luke Sherwood fires the pass out to Keo and the Fijian. He's over again. He's too big. He's too strong. They just oh, can't stop he him. He's What's that, his second or third try this afternoon? Do win the scrum, and Sherwood. The ball comes across the back line to Simmons, draws and passes. George Ashworth scored two last week. He gets one this afternoon. So Wanderers down a, uh, a forward. As out the back it comes, an opening, a decent opening for Keegan Stafford, who scores his third of the season. Oh, and then a bit of niggle there. Throws the ball. And Luke Sherwood, George Ashworth is in there. So picked up by Ham onto Sinclair, short away to Sherwood. He was sandwiched in there against the post. Well, he's got the ball down. He rolled over the line, Luke Sherman's Sherwood. He'll love that here at Townsend against the Greens. That's, hey, that's hey. like an current affair story, isn't it? It, it <laughs> is, and we could probably get that on 7.30 report. <laughs> uh, but there's full time. It's been a great game. It, it, it's a bit sloppy in, in some parts, but I think overall, look, Merriweather will be disappointed that they lost that game, but I think, you know, all in all, they can go away and say, well, look, we were still up to it. Wanderers were just better on the day.